common problem that some owners experience with their Rover 75s is mystery electrical gremlins. Can't see anything wrong with the wiring or anything like that. And sometimes the problem can be that the ECU has got damp. Now due to the design of the placement of the ECU under this compartment in the bulkhead, that means that it can sometimes fill up with water. And there's a drain hole at the bottom of the ECU chamber that it sits in um, called plenums and in this video I'm going to show you how to drain them and what to use and the bits you'll need to take off to get to them. So the first thing you need to do is to take out these three bungs in the scuttle. Now be careful with these, don't lose them because if you do the water can actually leak through so they do serve a purpose other than just clips. Make sure they don't ping away either. That's three of those. If you do lose them, you can easily you can easily replace them. I should have brought a bigger screwdriver. <clears throat> Last one. Next thing you'll need to do is to remove this weather strip, and then take off this panel here. So as you can see though, you're met with another so-called protective panel. Now this unfortunately doesn't do a great job of keeping water out of the chamber below, so we need to take this off. So a small screw in here, it's actually a Phillips screw but I'll only get my flat screwdriver to hand so bugger it. Screwed up anyway. So take that out. So that's your screw but don't forget to take out the actual kind of mount that it sits in as well because if you pull that up that'll ping away as well and you'll lose that and you need that so don't lose it. Yep. And the next thing now, this part's really fragile. Every 75 I've had it's always snapped there, so try not to worry too much about it. So all you need to do is lift that up a bit, and then this panel should just pull out. Okay, so we've now managed to slide that panel out from under here. There it is there. So as you can see, there's a lot of electrical stuff under here. That's your ECU there, that's your pollen filter, and that's for your alarm. So you have to look really carefully. Now you'll see, down the bottom there, that it's wet, but it isn't full of water. Now if you look over, I don't know if the light will catch it, or focus on it indeed. Okay, so it's a bit out of focus, but you can just see there. That's going out of focus again, sorry, it's really hard to focus on this. You can just see there, it's a bit out of focus, there is a round thing, that is your plenum drain. Now that gets blocked with leaves. And so you can see the chamber that the ECU sits on. You can see there is a bit of water there, but the actual plenum drain itself is clear. What happens is that gets blocked up with leaves. It's actually got a, a flat end on it underneath. It's blocked up the leaves. This chamber fills up. The ECU gets soaked at the bottom. So I'll show you what you can buy to clear out these plenums. You should check them every six months at least to make sure they're free of leaves, especially in the autumn. This car doesn't get parked under trees, so it's not too bad, but I still like to check it anyway because it can save a very expensive replacement or rebuild of your ECU. So what I use for this job is like a, it's like a plumber's drain and blocker. I think I got it from Screwfix for a couple of quid. So the end of it is flexible enough to get down your plenums, but it's got enough integrity so that it will push through. 
Sure. Let's get that done. Right, and you should be able to see it coming out the other side. So you can see that just there, it's come all the way through the car, in fact it's actually gone right through. It's gone right through the bulkhead and right down the other side, so it's gone right through the plenum and there was no, no blockage at all. In fact, you can actually see where it's come through. I'll try and move it so you can see. You see, so it's come right, right through. Right, we'll get this button back up and we'll look at the other side because there's one on the other side as well. Now, the other side is a bit easier because the brake servo uh, master cylinder top up sits under here. So for service, ease of servicing, it doesn't have all that gubbins. Plus there's not an ECU that needs protecting. So the only thing you've got is this. So we'll just chuck that behind the camera. Uh, remind me, I'll need to have a look and see where the plenum is in this one because I don't unblock this one as much because there's no ECU under there. Yep, there is a plenum on the other side, um, but if I'm perfectly honest with you, I can't find it. It's, uh, it's down there somewhere, I've had a look, uh, however it doesn't appear to be in any way flooded or anything like that. So I'm just going to leave it. One thing I would like to point out is this side does have a plenum guard. You can see that piece of plastic there. And it is, it says Julian at jmacacars.co.uk. So I do know that this has been made by somebody and sold on the forums. So it seems to certainly be doing its job. The other plenum, which we need to sort out, is this main one here because if that one doesn't drain then that's when the water starts going into there so let's get that one done Pretty clean that so there's not really been any crap stuck down there because I do that regularly. Let's go and hang it up. And we'll just put this back on. Now these can be a bit fiddly to get back on, right? There's a hook there, there's three tabs at the back which you need to line up and that should go back. You just need to be kind of careful because it's quite brittle. Make sure your weather strips in properly as well. Right, that's us. So one thing you can do is just check that when you're washing the car that water is draining. You'll see it draining out of that one, but make sure more in the centre of the car, the water's draining out underneath when you wash the car. That's a good way of checking. Hope this has been helpful. Cheers.